The report is uh, really interesting because it gives a very high level uh, understanding of what's happened in the uh, advertising expenditure uh, scenario in the last year and it gives some reasons, some indications of how things are going to pan out in uh, the next year. So it's very useful for marketers uh, who don't want to get you know, totally immersed and drowned in too many numbers to get a very uh, bird's eye view of what's happened and what is likely to happen. So it's very, very useful. Uh, as a marketer, uh, I don't think it's about uh, necessarily increasing spends. It is about increasing spends. But as I was saying in the panel, we're also a retail brand. So we spend a lot of money uh, on the retail side of things. And that is also something which is which is you know demanding a lot of money uh, so it's more about reallocation uh, depending on what the today's uh, you know objective is the marketing objective may have shifted from say two years back to now a lot of it is today now on the uh, journey of the consumer and spending the money where the consumer needs to be reminded and not just about creating awareness so that that has changed and that therefore the marketing uh, budget allocation is also uh, going to change based on that it was a very interesting discussion and brought to light some of the challenges of uh, retail and retail uh, rebuilding retail brands uh, i think uh, there were some interesting and provocative questions on consistency of consumer experience in retail stores uh, the role of discounting and how does one really, you know, uh, curb that beyond a point. Uh, also, the, uh, you know, the whole idea of uh, segmentation, does it work in, in uh, retail consumers, etc. Very thought-provoking discussion. I'm certainly taking back quite a few things for me to think of uh, from this session.